hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i know it's been a very long time if you've been there before and that you hear my voice you know that guess what i'm sick again and it's been two weeks and yeah whatever what a best time to start making videos again that when i'm tired i don't know but yeah it's been a while and i actually missed it so we are friday now been feeling really down like the past month i would say not the past month yeah the past month because i feel kind of lost i'm not sure where i want to go with my art i'm not sure where i want to go with my business with my life with with who i am who am i i don't even know anymore and so yeah i don't know also, Instagram is going down, down, down lately. Like, my posts are, sh are shown, like, to 20 people. And so, when there's, like, more than 500 people that follow me that connect every day. So, it's a bit frustrating and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And, uh, yeah, I was about to mix some colors and maybe film a tutorial, a short tutorial, like, in short reels stuff. And so, I thought, you know what? I might as well take the camera and film. So I'm going to use the colors from this amazing, gorgeous palette from Puritake. So I'm going to use cadmium red, cadmium yellow and ultramarine. We have some yellow, then we'll take some red. I usually prefer um, a pinkish red, but as I'm making a pumpkin, I'd rather have some um, yellow undertone. So, I want to I'm taking so much blue, so your trimming pretty. So, now we're going to check on some oranges. This one is already cute. I want to add a bit of blue because I'd like to have, yeah, a brownie one. It's not pigmented enough. There's too much water. Here we go. I think it's nice. Then I'm going to need some green. Why am I talking like that? I don't know. This green is cute. I'd like it to be darker. So I'm going to take more paints. Light orange. I'm sorry if you hear me like breathing, etc. I already breathe loud like all the time, usually, but when I'm sick like this, crazy. I tell you, crazy. Okay, that's nice. So I have my colors. Now I'm going to make a test. Okay, so that will be the tutorial. Now we have to make this in like 30 seconds. What do you think? Is it cute? I think it's cute. Let's film the tutorial on a better paper. That's how it looks when it's dry. So let's film this. So hello, we are now Monday. So yeah, we are Monday, it's late on Monday because I woke up like very late because I couldn't fall asleep. But yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about that. If I'm being 100% honest, I, I feel alone. Like I, I wish I had friends like to paint with and people to share art moments with and I thought about maybe trying live and twitch and stuff like that but i'm s so scared of either being alone or that people came come but they find me boring or annoying or and um, also i have a light on the side i should have a little 
have before. Yeah, that's better. I have two sides to my face right now. But yeah, oh, also, I wanted to show you. I made these little cuts um, with some leftover paints from the tutorials from for this. I haven't um, edited the video yet, but I think they look cute. They're a bit wonky, but I like it. I, I like it how it is. And I'm really happy that I'm starting to embrace imperfection and be okay with it because last year, if I hadn't made this, I would be like, bro, that's trash. Because I was putting the aesthetic before the feelings and that's not what I want. I want people to look at my heart and feel something, not necessarily think, oh, that's super pretty, but to think that it makes them happy, it makes them laugh, it makes them cozy, it makes them, them sad. I hope you're not sad when you want my heart, but it, you know what I mean, like. And it makes me happy and it makes me cozy. And I really like this one on the top. I like the one on the top, this one, and I <laughs> like this one. I think I like making tiny eyes like this. I've made round eyes for so long. Um, but I, I see now why people like making tiny round eyes. I'm going to take you to draw with me. Let's go. I'm dealing with quite an art block lately. So what do I do when I'm in an art block? Lately, what I've done, I'm sorry if you're shaking like that. I need to find a way to fix this, but yeah, whatever. What I've noticed is that when I'm in an art block, instead of doing nothing, what works for me is learning. I really needed to be able to sit at my desk with no phone, no iPad, no computer, and just have a moment with my art supplies and myself. So, what I did is buy books. I bought a few. For now, I don't regret any of these purchases because I really needed them. It was not like when I buy storybooks or kids books, it's a guilty pleasure kinda. It's inspiration but this is so much more like I'm learning and I've learned something about myself like pretty crazy I don't know if you do gouache or watercolor but these are the my main mediums and I realized that I'm afraid of white space spaces with no colors at all where you see the paper uh, so I'm showing this one to you right now because that's the one I'm going to use now because I realized that with this kind of things you learn and most important you do something you do something you don't stay there look at you at your white pages being paralyzed by what am I going to do now and I loved it. I picked only books that I liked. Of course, it's stuff that I would not be able to use professionally because it's not my art, it's not my ideas, it's not my it's not my stuff, you know. But it allows you to create and to learn and to even feel inspired. And uh, yeah, so I made a few stuff, some ice cream. I really like this one. I like the dry brushes. These artists use a lot of dry brushing techniques and I think it looks really good and that's when I realized that blank space scared the hell out of me. If I see blank space I will be like I, I, I need to feel it. Like if right now I was doing the background of it I would follow the really like line to line instead of just being like okay I can leave some white behind between the background and the objects, you know. But I have left some white there. I think these plants look pretty cute. Then there was 
this one and I had already made the sketches for six tutorials one two three this one didn't need the sketches for five six well I, I, I don't know how to count anymore but yeah I think I'm going to do this right now and I'll take you a bit with me for now I highly recommend this book if you like to paint some gouache and I think I will have even more to recommend to you after that so yeah I'm going to paint this right now except that I'm not going to paint it on a black background or maybe I'll do the black background after because I'll dare to leave white space around it show me watch me so let's go pretty happy with the result and instead of doing nothing because I was uninspired I made two pages two pieces I've used gouache it gave me ideas I tried some techniques I tried some colors together it's a win hello so we are Friday now and this is going to be the last day of the vlog if you see me doing what I'm about to do with sunglasses inside um, it's just that I have a terrible headache and I put them on while tidying my desk and I felt better so it will be a sunglasses inside kind of day just to show you I made this little flower crown and the last thing I'm going to do on this vlog is changing the top on my desk and so I thought I would take you quickly with me. I bought some vinyl fake wood thing and it's exactly like exactly the the length, the width, the depth. I don't know how to speak anymore. And so yeah, I'm going to do this right now and I'm going to put some Harry Potter movie or something like that. And I will show you the result with a clean desk and hopefully I won't mess up. So you will either have me showing you my brand new desk or showing me, showing you, me, me, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> or you'll see me cry because I've messed up. Let's go. And voila, it's not perfect. And I've already, 
I've already scratched it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can see it a bit there. But, and I've decided to make this other part too. But you know what? I'm going to paint and craft etc. on it anyway. So it would be used and painted on etc. anyway. And also I'm pretty happy with the size wall because I have enough to remake the big part once again. Yeah. See you next week, I think. Now I'm off to some editing for the rest of the day and also some paintings. Nothing super exciting here because I will probably be editing a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye!